Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely. So, just before I start the reading today, I just wanted to talk about this right away deck and how I use it and everything about this deck that you should know because some of uh, you were confused. Um, so I think like some of you wanted to start a YouTube channel and you were asking me in the comments down if uh, you can start with a right away tarot deck okay just because i'm using this deck today i thought of giving a detailed uh, review or a, a detailed insight into this i mean whatever is going on with this deck okay and how i used it first how was my experience with this deck and everything i will be discussing but if you want to skip this part you can skip it i'll also be uh, showing you the ritual that i do with this deck okay so yes guys if you want to skip this part you can skip it and you can go to the description box below i have this timestamps while the reading starts you can click on it and watch the reading okay so now i will be telling you all about this right away deck guys okay i think this is like the first deck that was made or something like that i've heard that uh, it the similar images and this is like a very old deck is true the images i mean this queen of wands contains a lot of um one each card of this deck has a lot of story to say i mean story to tell this deck is very very old and but i need to i will also discuss the negative aspects of this deck so first i'll be talking about the positive aspects of this deck so the first positive aspect of this deck is that it gives accurate readings like if you are a beginner and if you want accurate readings this is a deck for you all guys because it just absorbs the energy so very well and it just gives you the accurate readings and it is just an amazing deck if you want to connect to it on an intuitive level as you all know i'm uh, not a traditional tarot reader i'm an intuitive tarot reader and this deck has really helped me grow guys so if you want to grow as an intuitive tarot reader i would definitely suggest this deck even though this deck can be a little bit traditional it is very good for uh, the people who are into intuitive traditional readings and the second good aspect about this deck is that you can bond with it right away like it will not take you any time it will not you you don't have to sleep with the deck under your pillow you don't have to do anything like crystals nearby you can light up a candle and that's okay so you can bond with this deck really well guys okay it doesn't you don't have to meditate before you start i mean if you want to connect more deeply you can meditate but it is not a necessary thing to uh, do to start the reading with this deck okay because and it is really good for beginners but also it is not very good for some beginners okay so i'll explain about that uh, in further detail now i will come to the negative aspects of this deck okay the first negative aspect of this deck is that this deck consumes a lot of energy so if you are a ta if you are just beginning with tarot readings i know like everyone is getting this deck as their first deck but you will notice that it's consuming a lot of your energies you will feel like very drained like i even have body pains when i use this deck it's because it just drains our energy easily okay compared to the other tarot decks come if you uh, look at this deck the celestial tarot this takes away less energy than this okay because i don't know why the ta why the right away ta takes up so many energy i mean so much energy but yes guys compared to the celestial tarot compared to the shadow escape started i definitely feel like this right away tarot takes away much more energy than these tarot cards and anything compared to any tarot this card takes away so much energy but for some of you you wouldn't have noticed that because maybe you are not as sensitive as i am but if you know that you're kind of a sensitive person if you know that you cannot handle uh, rough energies i would uh, suggest you to use celestial tarot or um, 
shadows keep static guys okay and the other um, negative aspect about these cards is that it kind of like easily absorbs your energy so if you are a tarot reader and if you're thinking about yourself the cards will definitely like kind of like reflect your energy into it like even though you're doing a reading for someone else your energy will also be kind of like uh, getting involved in the reading which will also affect uh, the quality of the reading and it may also not resonate with the people who you're doing the reading for so it has like this high uh, level of energy i don't know it observes energy really easily and therefore like it your thoughts your feelings if you're thinking something about yourself that is also going to reflect in the reading and it may not resonate for the people that you're going to do the reading for unless they're your same zodiac sign okay so that is again the negative aspect of this reading so you just don't have to meditate and all of that but you need to uh, not think about anything like that is really tough like without a meditation but yes guys that you have to do you have to not think about yourself or about anyone else or think about only the person that you're doing the reading for okay and if you're doing the reading for yourself then it's amazing it's good to think about yourself okay and the other negative aspect of this reading is that guys as it drains of all your energies it is because this card contains i mean this tarot deck contains the negative aspects and also the positive aspects okay so if you see this deck it has the devil card it has all the negative cards i mean like even this celestial tarot also has a lot of betrayal energy a lot of hurt energy but this deck is raw this deck is in the raw form okay so this kind of affects our energy field more than any other deck because these decks are kind of like what to say guys they are molded and they are changed a little bit but as this deck is very raw it kind of like takes out more of our energies okay and i would definitely not suggest this deck as a beginner deck for most of you all if you know that you're sensitive if you know that you cannot handle such energies i would definitely uh, tell you to go with the other tarot decks okay you can uh, go with the good tarot because that is also another tarot deck but it doesn't take away your energy you can go with the celestial tarot you can go with the shadow escapes tarot but to use this right away tarot you need a lot of experience guys because it kind of takes away your energy because when i first started to use the right away tarot my energy just went i even used to get body pains i was drained using this deck but now i now like i've been using it for past 2 years so now i think like i've improved a lot but at first i really struggled so i really thought i should tell you all all this and give you all the information so that you don't go on that struggling journey that i went through so yes guys now i'll be starting the reading i'm really sorry for i mean like speaking for so long so let us start the reading for you guys and also another thing about this deck guys my lovely lovely is that this deck you can keep like if you are a beginner and if you already got the deck and then you come across my reading you can keep uh, all of your crystals around this deck you can uh what to say you can keep all the crystals around this deck and uh, put some rock salt around this deck and you can cleanse it for some time and then do the readings or you can keep the crystals uh near you whenever you use the stack or some bowl of salt near you when you use the stack so that it doesn't affect you much the energy the ne- the energy that the stack has will probably uh be absorbed by the crystals and with, by the salt guys and about the crystals i will be i'll talk to you in my next reading because i think i should probably start the reading for you all guys so now let us start the reading for you guys my lovelies hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely cancer so this is going to be your daily reading cancer so 
let's say welcoming up for your general energies guys and also for your love energies cancers so i will be using the right away it i think i have mentioned it earlier and i think i've given you an overall description about this uh, right away please comment down below if you thought it was helpful for those of you who are who kind of didn't skip so let us begin the reading guys what is coming up for your general energies wow we have the marriage card we have the king of pentacles the seven of pentacles so what i'm getting for you here is that definitely there is some kind of a marriage coming up for you all it can be like someone is going to propose you it can be someone is going to propose uh someone in your family your friends it can be or it can be your siblings or someone is there's definitely a marriage situation that you will be attending to or definitely there is a marriage or a ceremony a happy moment coming up for you all soon okay maybe you and this person waited for so long and finally it is manifesting guys so what i'm getting here is also that someone was waiting for you or there is some kind of a waiting offer some uh, one wants to give you this offer and they're waiting to give you this offer there's a lot of waiting energy is what i'm getting here guys and you just have to understand what you need to do and what you need to manifest into your physical reality with these cards i can also see here with the seven of pentacles that you're doing what you feel is right you're kind of manifesting what you're feeling is right and you're going with the flow because you do understand everything clearly and there are certain things you are manifesting and there are certain things you want to let go of and yes guys that is what i'm getting here completely for you guys my lovelies uh cancers let us see what is coming up for your love energies now cancers i'll be taking two cards for your general energies and two cards for your love energies cancers so what is coming up for your general energies cancers so we have the six of pentacles okay so for your person's energies your person has like a lot of people around them who kind of like saying that they want them or your person has a lot of people around them and they need to pick out from these people who they actually want a lot of offers coming this person's way for your energies okay so what i can see here is that this person has like too many people around them but they're going to still choose you because they feel like a bond with you guys they feel like a deep bond with you is what i'm getting here okay because this uh, this person no matter what they're doing now they do have a lot of people around them and they do have a lot of um uh, things that they need to do i mean a lot of offers coming their way it can be love offers but still they completely like they love you they're thinking about you they're willing to sacrifice things with you they're willing to do whatever it is with you and they only feel like talking to you guys okay i don't know why this person is very attracted to you no matter how much people are around them if you can see this person they have so many people who are around them they still view you as this person they want to like marry they want to have their kids with so even though there is too many people around this person they still want you guys okay because they still care about you and they're still willing to do anything with you they're still willing to do anything for you they're willing to do anything with you and yes guys that is what i'm getting here my lovely cancers okay so that is again what i'm getting here they just want to build a family with you even though there are so many people around them they just totally feel like they can have this relationship with you guys and only with you guys okay so this is all i can see here my lovelies so 
बाय गाइस सी यू ऑल टुमारो बाय गाइस